is CT Style. Hi everyone, good afternoon and welcome to CT Style. I'm Teresa Dufour. And I'm Jocelyn Lemon. It's great to have you, me, with you. I love when you're on the couch, yes. Joss. It's always a treat. We have a really <laughs> fun show planned for you. Do you like autumnal dishes? I do. Well, you are in luck because our friends from Elm City Market, they are making a pumpkin soup and a very special grilled cheese. And this is just perfect kind of meal to have, especially with the weather I'll coming up. Will you? Okay. Sure. <laughs> love the, especially the grilled cheese. All right, we also have Katie Winter yes. who's going to help us organize our kitchen sink is if you were at my house Teresa that area that area is a mess constant mess so uh, we don't want to know really what what's under my she's sink. gonna help us though so don't yeah. worry about it and okay, we have good. a Connecticut author who has a new book out drive it goes on sales today uh, it's about mm -hmm. race car driving so we'll have to see how well, she it actually all ties comes in. from a NASCAR family she has quite a history ah, can't so wait to hear about it we're gonna get into that but first today's dish is all presented by Stone Academy all right so here we go again sneakers are once again the center of a debate Who's right? Who's wrong? Have you seen this yet? No, I have All right, not. Keep okay, going. <laughs> let's take a look at this. Social media just going crazy over the colors of these shoes. All right, what is this? A singer Lizzo posted, "I see gray and teal, uh, but my whole team sees pink and white." Okay, I don't see that. What do you see, Josh? I see the teal. The debate about the color of these <laughs> shoes has been going on since they were first posted back in 2017, so for quite some time now. Before that, the dress debate, we remember that. Was it gold oh, yes. or was it blue? Uh, it comes down to our genes and how those impact our own perceptions of lights and colors. Um, what do you I see? I see gray and blue. Yeah, okay, you there too, you go. Right? Yeah, the same colors. I don't Maybe get the pink. Maybe it's those younger kids that see the pink. <laughs> I don't know. Is there aging us? Is that what it is? I don't okay. know. I haven't met too many people that have seen the pink yet. So. Okay. Anywho, what kind of costumes are we going to be seeing for Halloween? Do you get trick-or-treaters at your I house? I do. And do you get dressed up? I know sometimes you do. Uh, we're being the Paw Patrol this year. You are you are? familiar with the Paw Patrol? I, is it the... It's the, the little dogs, dogs that right? crime. So we're yes. each taking a character. Oh. So yes, we okay. are dressing up this year. Okay. Got to tell you, you love to make costumes yeah, for the we, kids. We she does a great overboard. job. She really does. All right. The most Google costume, apparently, according to Google, yeah. is... Uh, from Stephen King's It. That creepy, that creepy clown. clown. That is great for Halloween, Pennywise. But it's that creepy. is scary, though. And it kind of gives a, the clowns a bad name, too, though. I feel bad for the clowns who are out there. All right. The most popular <laughs> search in Hartford and New Haven is Spider Man. Other favorite costume searches this year come down to the video game Fortnite. Stranger Things, Toy Story, and we can't get rid of Baby Shark. Of course not. That's just going so to haunt us forever. Yes, absolutely. All right. When I greet um, the trick or treaters, yeah. I just really don't do a whole lot because I don't want to scare them. So sometimes I'll just put like a little witch hat or that's something perfect, like Jess. that. As long as you give them candy, I think they'll that's be happy. That's all that's they care about, right? <laughs> all right. So this is very fitting. Lays mm -hmm. is taking over a beloved food pairing and morphing it into a potato chip. I find this taste, I think, interesting. It's so so good because it we're really just talking is. about grilled cheese, but Lay's is merging grilled cheese and tomato soup and making it into a chip. Yeah. Oh, all right. So it's expected to hit the grocery store shelves on Monday. Also, it's the same day that Lay's is also planning to launch their Gotta Have Lay's campaign. Contests will give customers a chance to win a year's worth of Lay's products. Are you going to try it? Absolutely. My little Angie, just two years old, is a big Lay's potato okay, chip Okay, I got to tell you, I do so love Lay's potato we chips. We will probably uh, give those a try. I can't stop eating those once They're I Start. Sure are, right? <laughs> the live action remake of Lady and the Tramp is set to debut on Disney Plus next month. And there is a new trailer to get fans really excited. The original animated classic was released back in 1955. And more than 60 years later, the remake features actual rescue dogs to create the action. Filmmakers added an effect to make them speak. And of course, the storyline is the same two, two dogs find romance over that famous plate of spaghetti. <laughs> Oh, that looks terrific. We'll check it out. I'm not going to do that. It comes out uh, November 12th. Another one uh, that I'm really looking forward to is Frozen. Frozen 2, right? Middle yes, of November. And that's it comes coming out. out in November as well. Yeah. Good month for movies. Yes. All right. It was Disney. Take, uh, Disney was taking over Dancing with the Stars. The ballroom was filled with all of your childhood favorites last yeah, let's night. Let's take a look at some of them. From the lovely princesses to the lovable Pixar. Speaking of Cheers. Frozen, look at that. Right? There, he, there he is. Elsa. Even Mary Poppins floated from the ceiling. Do we see her? Anyway, if the costumes weren't shocking enough, viewers were surprised at the judges. Huh. They spurred tears of joy from the princesses, Sailor Brinkley Cook and Hannah Brown. As the judges handed out the first nines of the season, 
So who was eliminated? Who was? No one. No. The host Tom Bergeron says no one gets eliminated on Disney night. This is what the second or third time they said no one got eliminated this I, season. You know, Disney night something is like so that. special, Joss. They just couldn't get rid of anyone. <laughs> okay. Of course, you can catch Dancing with the Stars Mondays right here on Channel Eight. All right.